So, you know, you know that the gospel was preached to every creature under the sun. We think that some people haven't heard it. Well, well, it's something that bear witness in every soul, everyone that can say I yes. has this witness within himself, because knowing yourself as I is what God is. God is that I that you feel mm -hmm. inside of yourself. Wow. You can't describe it, mm. but it's been with you all the time. Yes. Yeah. And it's all the time wanting to bear witness to you, you know, that the invisible things of the creation mm. are clearly seen mm. by the things that are created. So I, w I witnessed the trees and I feel the, the wind because as a child, when I was about 18, no, not 18, I was about, I was younger than that. Actually, it was during the war, the last war, I was in the last war, and I experienced all the stuff that was going on, but I could not handle all the, you know, that stuff. I, it would make me very disturbed. But I would go lay in the grass and I'd be watching the trees and the wind blowing through the trees, oh. and I began to wonder you know, a wonder? Are you all wondering? Because we've got a wonder. There is a wonder in the heavens, in everything that is created. Yes. In that, the revelation of God is revealed. Mm. Because the heavens declare the glory of God. Mm. Yes. Yes. It declares. But what does it speak of? It speaks of you. Mm. You know, it speaks of the I am. <coughs> And you become aware of it through the creation that's clearly seen that something is working in you that's bringing back to your remembrance who you are. Because I was there in the beginning with him. Right when God said, let there be light, I was there. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I beheld it all come, come into being. For by it, or by this eye, all things were created and all things are sustained by that same eye. So now, if we want to experience the same thing what was ordained for us in the beginning, we will not say to God, what will you give me? We will not pray for anything at all. Because all things are already yours. Amen. Amen. <coughs> but you don't know that because you see still with mortal eyes and that causes you to be blinded <clears throat> by the world of appearances. And these appearances control you for the time being at least. You know. But now we are coming to a place where this mortality must take on immortality. Amen. Now, first of all, I want to read to you something from the book of Romans. And it's... Uh, well, at the end of chapter 11 from the Roos translation, it says, Oh, the depth of the wealth and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and how untraceable the path he takes. For whoever knew the Lord's mind, or who had become his counselor, or who was previously given to him, that will be rec recompensed to him. Because out of him, and through him, and for him, are all things. To him <coughs> be glory forever. Now this, of course, uh, has been interpreted into many, many doctrines about what's happening in that rotation, as it were, of the ages. Are a God, according to some teaching, that God lowered us into this pit and gradually is going to return again because out of him we came and we're going to be, you know, treated really unkind by a loving God, you know what I mean? <laughs> and test us and tries us and leads us to all sorts of stuff so that we can come out like pure gold. <laughs> I don't think you come out like pure gold. <coughs> you come out wetted and tired and hard to handle. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was hard to handle after I experienced hell itself and the death. And if I would even think or contemplate that God would lower its creation 
into such a pit, I would say that is not true. I lowered myself into a pit yes. by and through disobedience. By one man's disobedience, <coughs> death came upon all men and sin. So there is a revelation of the mystery of this. He said, I therefore beg of you, brethren, through the instrumentality of the four mentions, mercies of God, see, mercies of God, they're mercies of God, that are being revealed to us now, that God doesn't test you or try you, but he wants to reveal himself to you and then let you know that what you are looking for, you already are. Yes. Yes. And always yes. have been. Yes. 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 And now we are returning unto Zion, the scene. Amen. And with great joy because Jesus has conquered yes. the material sins that we all experience. Yes. Now, and then he says, that you present your body a living one, a holy one, a well-pleasing, your rational sacred service, rational in that this service is performed by the exercise of the mind. And stop assuming an outward expression that does not come from within you and is not representative of what you are in your inner being for that outer being is patterned after this age, but change your outward expression to one inner being by the renewing of your mind, resulting in your putting to the test what is the will of God, the good and well-pleasing and complete will, and having found that it meets specification, place your approval upon it. This is something, isn't it? Mm. To present ourselves holy and blameless unto God. Say. And know that. No, because God cannot look upon sin or anything what you claim to have or what you think you don't have. God only knows the absoluteness of completeness. He doesn't know anything what is frail or old or dying, or sick, or lonely, God doesn't know anything about that. So I went to God and said, God, I got all these problems. <laughs> I went to God, but He wasn't there. And then God came to me, and I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least not even half of us. <laughs> <coughs> See, so there is, there is a, mix, a mix up here, you know what I mean? We lost our the proper understanding of the function of the spirit that reveals always the nature of absoluteness. And there is no variableness in him, and neither is there any shadow of turning of his own will begotten to us of the word of truth. Mm. See now, he has begotten us mm. of the word of truth. Mm. And it is always so. When God says, it is so, it is still so, and now the redeemed have to say, so. 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 <laughs> Let the redeemed say, so. it is so. so. 